these Twitch streamers, man. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, a couple hours ago, a tweet went out from Jake Lucky exposing a Twitch streamer who apparently had sex live on her Twitch stream, which at first I didn't really believe since I had my own false positive about the same topic of a streamer getting banged live on stream and all that. But the VOD came out a couple hours ago and it actually did become true. I mean, it is clear as day that they are indeed fucking in that stream. I mean, may this be intentional and all or whatever, but there is a clear reflection on the window behind them, which I'll show the video in a bit here. But it's explained to how there is a very clear reflection and you can pretty much make Make out exactly what you think you would see when it comes to that. So enough talking here, let's actually bless your eyes with this absolutely fantastic VOD of this girl getting banged live on her Twitch stream. Play the clip. I will honestly never understand how you can get to the point where you're so comfortable with your stream and like your Twitch audience that you feel the need to like openly have fornication with somebody right in front of your stream and then go on to even react to it happening and then just to continue looking at the screen like nothing is happening while there's this random dude just constantly shifting positions right behind you like it is truly crazy but it gives some context on just who this is and what happened after which there isn't a lot of information out right now but what I've scraped up so far is that this girl's name is Kim she's a Spanish Twitch streamer with at least 300 followers by the time she got nuked and the whole situation happened because she was apparently drunk which I guess could be told by the beer can she had in her hand and I guess the girl was just feeling kind of freaky that night because she decided to do the deed right on stream and after that she actually got banned for only seven days which is where most of the conflict has actually started to happen that how this twitch streamer who had literally had sex live on their twitch stream only got banned for seven days while other twitch streamers out there have been perma banned for way lesser reasons than this so because of that there's been a lot of racism and favoritism claims towards twitch and if I had to agree with one, I definitely do believe that there is favoritism on Twitch. I mean, it's only obvious, right? They are a company, and they gotta keep that boat sailing somehow. And explains why streamers like Pokemon are able to stay relevant on the platform for so long, and getting away with constant fuck-ups like words that aren't meant to be said. But even then, I feel like sex live on stream should just be permabanned off the platform. Giving her a 7-day ban really undermines the whole problem of, you know, showing yourself having sex live on stream. So I can understand why there's a lot of people upset about this whole issue. And honestly, I'm shooting in the dark here, but I wouldn't be surprised if this was some, you know, public stunt made by her just to get her name out there. Because looking at her Twitter account, she obviously posts, you know, thirst trap type content, which nowadays is really that crazy. But seeing as how she does that and then goes on to do something like this on stream, which then goes viral. And if this girl does come back after seven days, this would be literally one of the best advertisements for her whole stream. Seeing as how people will go into her chat, asking her lots of questions and just getting that viewer count up. But let me know what you think. Do you also believe that this could be a public stunt made by her just to get her name out there? Or am I simply just overthinking this whole thing? And honestly, is that 7 day ban enough? Or should it be perma? And with that, more of the story is, don't fuck on stream.